I wanted to vomit and cry, Taylor Swift's mom testifies in groping lawsuit. In emotional testimony in a Denver courtroom Wednesday, pop star Taylor Swift's mother said she wanted to vomit and cry at the same time when her daughter told her she was groped by a disc jockey at a reception for fans before one of her concerts, USA Today reported. Andrea Swift, 59, who serves on her daughter's management team, said the Grammy winner singer-songwriter was really shaken, she was humiliated, she was horribly embarrassed, according to People. Her testimony fell on the third day of a civil trial stemming from the pop star's claims that radio personality David Mueller groped her buttocks against her will four years ago. A day earlier, Mueller testified that while he may have made physical contact with the famous pop singer, it was unintentional and her allegations were false. But Andrea Swift insisted Mueller's account wasn't true. He sexually assaulted my daughter, right there, that guy, she testified, while pointing at Mueller, who sat less than 20 feet away, Reuters reported. I heard it from my daughter's mouth. I know that it happened. Taylor Swift claimed in June 2013 that Mueller slipped his hand under her dress and grabbed her buttocks while they posed together for a picture at a pre-concert meet and greet in Denver. Two days later, Mueller was fired from his job at Denver radio station KYGO, where he made $150,000 a year, Reuters reported. Mueller filed a slander lawsuit against the recording artist in 2015, claiming her security team caused his termination. He is seeking at least $3 million, the Associated Press reported. She countersued a month later, claiming he groped her, the Washington Post reported. She is seeking $1 as a matter of principle and says she wants to be an example to other assault victims, the Associated Press reported. During testimony, Andrea Swift recalled her daughter telling her at the time, Mom, a guy just grabbed my A dot. She said the alleged groping scared us really badly and that the pop star was really shaken, she was humiliated, she was horribly embarrassed, according to People. Swift she did not report the alleged incident to police in an effort to protect her daughter's privacy. I did not want every interview from now on to have to make her include what happened to her. I did not want her to have to live through the endless memes and gifts that tabloid media and internet trolls would come up with, Swift said according to People. We absolutely wanted to keep this private, but we did not want him to get away with it. Swift testified the alleged incident changed the pop singer's behavior. For example, she said her daughter won't perform in the crowd at concerts any longer, and her meet and greets with fans are shorter and include more security measures, according to USA Today. But it was just destroying her, Swift said. Mueller on Tuesday testified that Taylor Swift's claims were overstated and that if he had touched her, he merely brushed her arm or torso. My hand came into contact with part of her body, Mueller said, according to Variety. I felt what appeared to be or seemed to be a rib cage or a rib, ribs. When directly asked if he grabbed her buttocks, he said, no, I did not. I want to clear my name, he said, according to Reuters. It's a humiliating experience to be accused of something so despicable. His lawyer Gabriel McFarland said in his opening statement on Tuesday that Taylor Swift falsely accused Mueller. Let's be clear, inappropriate touching is offensive. It's wrong and it should not be tolerated, McFarland said. Falsely accusing is equally offensive and it's equally wrong. Taylor Swift seemed to predict his testimony. She previously said in a deposition, it was not an accident, it was completely intentional, and I have never been so sure of anything in my life. Right as the moment came for us to pose for the photo, he took his hand and put it up my dress and grabbed onto my A cheek and no matter how much I scooted over it was still there, she continued. I remember being frantic, distressed, feeling violated in a way I had never experienced before, the singer added.